Oh, good afternoon. Good old sunny day today. I'm going to be doing the brake pads on my truck. 2007 Verado. Got the front brake pads today. Nah. I was going to bleed the brakes, but I forgot to stop at the parts store and get some brake fluid. So, I'm going to wait to do that. Plus, I need another person to help me. So. The other cool thing I was going to mention as well is I was just trying out these throttle body spacers. And seeing if maybe if it got me a little bit more power, but more or less, I just noticed better fuel economy. About two miles to the gallon better on the highway. Closer to 21, 22 miles per gallon. Of course, that's on flat, you know, not going up over hills and all that. But that one was only like 75, 80 bucks. And it's definitely helped out. The other thing is we got two snapped off exhaust studs. See that one by the spark plug there? That's the broke off studs. I have to replace that too here pretty soon to make an exhaust leak. It's got 250,000 miles on it. Still got like 9,000 miles left on my warranty. So I might, I don't know, I might cash in for the tranny or the engine. Transmission starting to go out slips into second gear pretty common on these things so i got the passenger set up so i'm gonna pull this wheel off here without further ado let's get to business get this sucker pulled off and get to working compressor yeah. Get my tools situated. Well, pretty disorganized. I got a lot of tools in a small box. So it's... It all kind of just has to fit in there somehow, right? Actually, I think I'm going to need 7-8s on that. 7-8s. It's 22 or... Good old NX is starting to pile stuff on it. I'm waiting on parts for it. And what do you know? Got my half inch impact. And good old Craftsman. Now, funny story about this. So, I was in college going to school for automotive, went and bought tools. And got like $2,500 in Craftsman tools for school at PCC out in uh, Tigard, Oregon. And so get all the tools, go up to the register, scan them all, think everything's okay. Everything's good. They let us go. You know, they had to do some. We went to the Lloyd Center, Sears. So you had to do this fancy shit where you buy all the tools and put it on a cart and then. You have to go all the way to the back the Sears and then I'll like load up your truck with the tools from there. And so somehow I got this impact gun for free. And because of how I found that out is I went to go return it for a warranty. And they're like you didn't buy this like there's nothing on the receipt for this and they think i stole it and i'm like no you guys gave it to me and they didn't take it back they let me keep it so it was their fault i guess i tried to give it back or pay for it but i don't know that's i guess that's the story on this but this thing's been 2014 so eight years and it still does good Right, oh, I got some dirt on there. I have to clean that off. There's one thing about living out in the country. It's really hard to keep your stuff clean. Just 
this gets dirty. This thing you're working on gets dirty. So your tools get dirty. Let's see here. Got it on. Let's make sure we get that on three. <laughs> Of course, I always oil, oil these things pretty damn good. Starting to get a little wore out, but she's old dependable. Got five, six lugs. Set this aside. that for a seat. Use the tire for a seat. Now we start low. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Well, when I pull it off, you'll be able to see it. So... Here, right, go get me some tools. At least I got my tools in the same spot. <laughs> Seems to uh, be an ever growing trend. That way you can sometimes get the break the caliper loose so that you can slide it off without having to decompress the pistons too much. But these are dual pistons, so they're gonna be pretty fun. Alright, try this. I got it to move some. Yeah, there we go. See that? Broke her loose. So now, let's see the size is that. Let's go find another socket. Oh, shit. I'll be dropping sockets now. No 12 point sockets. Might, might round off the damn bolt. Let's see here. Try that one. 21 or an 18. Should be one of those. Might even be an 18. Wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, it's going to be an 18 millimeter. Pull out the 18 half inch wobbly. Oh, no bueno. So then, three quarter, gonna be three quarter. Alrighty. Yeah, I'm used to working on Japanese vehicles because, you know, 10s, 12s, 14s, 17s. 19s American cars you just different you know 10 13 15s 18s stuff like that you, know, you don't always have all that stuff and you don't always have those vehicles so gotta improvise a little bit where the hell is it there we go We'll try this bad boy. Oh, that one's even worse. Yeah. 
Better get it together and tell you what. And figure out the damn socket to put on the damn thing. So. Fourth time's a charm, right? <laughs> yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Alright, skipped a little bit. I just had to make sure I grabbed all the right tools before I gave you guys a bunch of back and forth boring you. Got the bolt out. Ended up getting a swivel. Alright, oh yeah, look at that. They're pretty low. Ooh, especially that back one. Oh, it didn't bear metal. Nice. I don't have to get new rotors. Well, at least on this side. We'll find out tomorrow. Well, not tomorrow. Later. I'm surprised to still, still see grease in there. That's good. I don't like seeing that, though. Somebody used too much. I'm supposed to use a little bit, but... I like that. If you use too much, you could cause a grease fire. We should be able to just fold this right on over like that. And there's my screw drive. Go ahead and pop that out. It's pretty decent, even pad wear. Calipers and slides are in good condition, so. Oh man, I was close. I was cutting it close. <laughs> Damn. See, that's the thing, though, is if you wait too long to do your brake pads, you know, once they start making noise, you want to replace them. It don't matter. If they're making noise, there's something wrong. They shouldn't make noise. I drove this thing for 20,000 miles when I bought it and didn't have any brake noises until recently. And that's because of my wear indicators were going off. And if you see that little tab right there that's got shiny... That means it was wearing with the brake pads. So technically I do need new rotors, but they're okay. They're okay for now. You know, it's still going to stop good. Oh, not too big of a deal. Alright, so just because I want to make sure all the slides are good, I'm going to go ahead and pull this caliper down. So... Pause for one second. Sorry about that. I'm just going to go ahead and set this up here. Just kind of out of the way a little bit. Alright, you're just going to see how much they move. Make sure they move nice and good. If they move good, not much you have to worry about. If they're ever seized, you can always try and clean them out. Because, I mean, the boot, as you can see, it's dark. It's always good to wipe that off and put some good grease in there. Because that always keeps the slide, the piston slide inside of here. So that it doesn't seize up it makes it to where you're when you clamp on your brakes with the pist with the caliper here cuz those those will push down and they'll clamp on it and then you want these slides to move nice and good helps release and all that but a lot better that's why they grease the calipers too the pads so that when you let off the brakes they 
release and they don't sit there and drag eat up your brake pads faster. Right, I'm gonna grab the brake pads real quick. <laughs> 